Hi everyone, I hope everyone's having a good day today. So for today's video, we're going to be creating a sun catcher. You will need white glue. You will also need food coloring. You will need a plastic lid. You can also use a fork, a hole punch, and also string. So the first step to creating the sun catcher will be to pour a generous amount of glue onto the lid. Okay, and then from there you're gonna swish it around just to make sure the entire surface is covered with glue. And then from there, you are going to open up the food coloring. And you can put one or two drops, three. Now, using the fork, you're going to swish it around. Now, you want to keep in mind, try not to swish it around too much, because then eventually all the colors will combine. As it dries, all the colors are going to settle. And if you mix them up too, too much, it's gonna create this brownish look. Now, all you have to do after this is you basically just have to let it dry. Um, as a color settle, they're going to continue to expand and create uh, this dyed effect. I mean, personally, I love the 60s, so, you know, this is actually pretty cool to me. Um, and I hope it's cool uh, to you guys as well. Um, also, depending on how much glue... Uh, you use the sun catcher will take one to three days to fully dry so once it once you start noticing that the sides start lifting um, that means it's completely dry you can take out the the sun catcher from there that's where the hole punch and the string come in you hole punch it and then you tie the string onto the sun catcher and then from there you can either use it like on a planter or even like in the front of your house, however you want to be creative and use it. So I hope you guys find this video easy. Um, it's something fun, uh, something that you can, all the materials you can have at you, you know, possibly everyone has at home. Um, it's really simple. Uh, please enjoy, like, comment and share and have a great day, everyone.